An excellent exercise for strengthening and working through the entire shoulder girdle is leg pull supine. And this is a little similar in some ways to our shoulder bridge lift. So I'll just remind you of the shoulder bridge lift. And with that one, we'd be lying on our back, thinking of our torso like a slab of concrete. And we'd squeeze our bottom muscles as we push our feet into the floor and lift up to our ski slope position. And we could go up and down multiple times. We could hold our bridge position. We could do a kick, adding arms or not, using our arms to assist. Anyway, we have various options. And this is excellent for working through this region and all the other muscles facing the floor. With our leg pull supine, we'll continue to work through that. And many of the variations are quite similar, except you won't be able to use your arms. So how do I get into the correct position? Well, normally I'd have my fingers, I'd have my hands on the mat and fingers either facing forward or at 45 degrees forward. That means out to the side, so that's 45, that's forward. So in this position here, soft elbows, and I'm gonna roll my shoulders back and down. I'm gonna be proud across the front of my shoulders and chest, like I've got a new necklace and I'm showing it off. And what I would do again is I'd squeeze my bottom muscles, push my feet into the floor, and come up into my bridge, or what I'd like to call the upside down table position. So if you think of your all four swimming as the table, this is the upside down table. And I've got my elbows soft. Now with regards to the hand position, some people prefer, and I'm one of those, to curl the fingers under. So I'm at 45 degrees forward here, but I'm now gonna curl the fingers under and be on my fists. Again, I'll keep my elbows soft, shoulders rolled back down, proud chest, and squeeze my bottom. My elbows are soft, as I mentioned. Now, it is more comfortable for your shoulder if your arms are back like so, fingers pointing backwards but just be aware it's really easy to lock the elbow out in this position. So once again, if it's more comfortable th through your shoulders, have your hands pointing backwards and keep the elbows soft. Maybe have that little bit of a bend in them so as to emphasize that you're soft through the elbows. But as I said, my preference is 45 degrees on my fists, breathing out and in and so on. So I might just do my lifts like I did with my shoulder bridge a moment ago. Again, I could hold this position and maybe do a kick. And if I do a kick, I wanna keep my hips nice and square, in this case, to the ceiling and the floor. Another option is to do this with straight legs. And the same as we don't lock the elbows out, we don't lock the knees out either. And if you were to do your kick in this position, it's a straight leg kick. And again, you would keep your hips Nice and still, it's up to you how long you hold it up there. Give yourself a little bit of mobility through the shoulders when you do finish. Excellent exercise for strengthening that entire region, as well as getting in through those bottom muscles.